Okay, now for our next speaker. Hans Koenigsmann is Vice President of the Build and Flight Reliability Team at SpaceX, where he leads the company's quality engineering and process development teams, oversees the launch readiness process during launch, and assesses and resolves launch risks. He's built up the avionics, software, and guidance navigation and control departments at SpaceX, and developed their launch readiness process. He was the chief avionics architect of the Falcon 1 and early Falcon 9 efforts and launch chief engineer for the last three Falcon 1 missions and most of the Falcon 9 flights. His experience also includes the development of suborbital and orbital launchers as well as several satellite projects and attitude control systems, both at his previous work in Germany and at Microcosm in California. Dr. Koenigsmann has a PhD in aerospace engineering and production from the University of Bremen and a master's in aerospace engineering from the Technical University of Berlin. It's my honor to introduce Hans. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. It's, uh, it's an honor to be on this panel and I realize that um, my flight time is about less than your space time. <laughs> so. So obviously I got to work against that here with more, with more slides, I guess. Um, I'm going to show you a quick video of the Demo-1 mission. That was the, the mission that was the uh, Dragon spacecraft um, going to the ISS and docking there unmanned and, and completely autonomous. Um, and it's in preparation to the, um, to the uh, um, manned flight later this year. Um, um, so I'm actually going to just start this here. This is Falcon 9 on, a, uh, on what we call the trans- It's launch trajectory and countdown net. Pad is clear. Go for launch. LC-39. 10, 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 7, Where all the shuttles 6, and, uh, and Apollo 5, launch from. 4, There's mission control 3, in Hawthorne and at the Cape. So, 1, two different rooms. Again, mission control in Hawthorne. Inside of the uh, food bag, and you see Little Earth and Ripley, and uh, that's the view from the uh, from the spacecraft as the uh, the astronauts would see it. Just March two this year. Vehicle is supersonic. Stage separation confirmed. Exactly. Second stage. And the uh, first stage. Landing legs have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Dragon separation confirmed. Dragon separation. And then the phasing begins and uh, getting closer to the space station. And Houston the, uh, Station, space ground to ISS thruster is enabled. Little Earth is a gravity sensor for us. This is the actual thing. It's not... <laughs> this is one of my favorite uh, phases. Houston, station, Dragon Hatch, open at 1307. On behalf of Ripley, Little Earth, myself, and our crew, welcome to the Crew Dragon. Little Earth stayed up there. Houston, we spawn on two. Nice, this crew is ready for departure. We crashed again and brought back by the uh, demo, demo 2 mission. The separation, CD yeah. confirmed. The nose will close for the, for the entry. It's, uh, Pop in and back row here. We have a uh, drone shoot deploy. We have four help shoot. And main shoots. The recovery is just to receive. Dragon has landed. And this is the recovery boat. Uh, we got two of those. All right. So I threw everything on one slide too, except this is pictures. <laughs> And, and one thing after, um, after Tom's, Tom's talk yesterday, I had to add the Emmy on it. Um, SpaceX and NASA, NASA and SpaceX in this case, uh, got an Emmy for the, for the webcast. We do a webcast for every launch. It's, uh, it became pretty popular and, um, and it's, it's, it's exciting. We, um, it's, it's just an event and, and we, the whole thing is very popular. So obviously, um, apparently, People thought we can we can own an, an Emmy for that. Uh, the rest of the pictures is, 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 is Crew Dragon, and you can see uh, on the top there. Actually, there should be a laser here. Uh, there, these are um, Dragon capsules in different stages, basically from development to to beginning integration. Down here, this is the final integration in the clean room. Uh, this side is mostly avionics down there, and and lots of cabling going to other places, basically. 
And then on this side, you see a little bit more propulsion. This is where the, par the parachute goes. These are propellant tanks. And then these devices over here are the, the super dracos. These are thrusters um, that basically move the spacecraft away in case of a problem. It's an escape thruster, an escape system that's integrated. And that's one of the things um, that is uh, different between Dragon and any other spacecraft. Uh, the integrated system allows you to use then those propellants. If you don't use them for escape, obviously you can still use them for for um, you know maneuvering in orbit, and it extends your range on the spacecraft dramatically um, compared to a, a tower that has a, um, a rocket that you then throw away. And um, we are uh, we are also heavy into training. This is an emergency training. Um, I think this is a, a fire fire drill down there, uh, part of it too. Um, I wanted to add a picture that reminds me of other things we do. We had 76 um, launches of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, and SpaceX um, started business in 2002, so we did this relatively quickly. And the, um, the main thing is these, these launches, um, the majority of those were within the last three or four years. Um, it's pretty amazing how, how fast we ramped up and how, how many launches we do currently. Um, this one in particular is a landing of two boosters in parallel. Uh, we, we, we invented the parallel landing um, <laughs> operation. And um, landing the boosters and reusing them is, is an incredible advantage if you want to fly over and over again, if you want to do this quickly, because it allows you to just put another second stage on there. We, we're actually starting to reuse the fairings too, so, so um, we're extending our reusability, and, and it just allows you to gain so much experience in, in, in a much shorter time and to start iteratively um, improving your spacecraft based on what you actually get back and what you see, and, and, and you can analyze it and work, work on, on reliability with that. So with that, um, I just want to point out we, we will, we will um, sorry, this was the one. We will, um, Perform the mission as soon as possible. Um, we got the hardware coming to the Cape pretty soon. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I have. I encourage you to make it quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, are you done? Yeah, I'm taking Oh, that. okay. Yeah. Sorry, okay. interrupted you right when you finished. <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure. Amazing. And at the end of the line, last but definitely not.